Hello, everybody. This is Miles Luigi, and I have with me Higsby. Hello. So the contest is actually finished, and of course, we need to announce all the entries, who won, and, and all of the other miscellaneous. Plus, you also asked me to actually open up the ROM, Higsby, because apparently, uh, there's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> there's actually quite a bit more to it, and it's interesting. I've actually received emails. Um, and some personal messages from people who really did uh, give everything a really good look and uh, kind of find everything. And it's also, it's also interesting to know about the title screen there. Is that, oh. um, that is actually all of Mario's original movements from the original Super Mario World title screen. Um, I just changed the layout and put in some Koopa Troops to kind of make it look cool. But yeah, I did not change Mario's movements at all. You could, wow. ease, you could put the original title screen level from Super Mario World right back in here and it will work just the same because I did not change anything like that. Um, so I thought it's kind of interesting that it actually turned out pretty well. A lot of people probably didn't even notice that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so I of course played the contest realm. At, when I announced the contest, I only found three of the dragon coins, but thanks to other people's videos action, or all four of them are. <laughs> First off, why don't we show the results? Um, so in uh, last place, unfortunately, <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't say it like that. No, well, thank you to everyone who entered. I mean, everyone thank, thank put you. the time in to play to the level. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Exactly. Why don't I go ahead and start it? So Luke Ungst got four Dragon Coins and C12. None of the entries had less than four Dragon Coins, which is pretty awesome because that was the first quantifier. Was yeah. Dragon Coins. If someone got three Dragon Coins in an awesome time, that would have actually been a worst entry. Mm -hmm. So I also have to announce Evil Popter did not put in an entry. Aww. So he did not finish. So actually, Luke Ungst, you're not in last place because I asked Evil Popter he said he did play the ROM, he didn't find the end, so he did not finish. <laughs> cool. I'll have to ask him about that next time we talk. The next entry is the Shadow Flare Gaming, who got D09. Next entry, Mr. Hot Dog got E23. Next entry, Wayoshi got E57. Hmm. Next entry, Paulo Sergio got E60. And our winner is JDaster64 or LL Productions 2006, who had E87. Congratulations! That is an awesome diamond. And it's funny just hearing you read that out that I actually still left the hexadecimal numbers in there. No one ever needed that much time, but I never ended up taking it out anyway. <laughs> that is fine. By the way, let me actually save state down, because the actual way to go through the level is this yes. way. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny in your initial video. You thought, oh, go up there. I see, that's why I really loved. Like, this, this was a great idea for a contest, because I always really wanted people to test this level, because I wanted to see how different people tackle different parts, and if everyone kind of realized the whole trick to it immediately, or if it actually took them a while. Um, so I was really happy to see people who posted videos, or even people who just sent me messages, um, to see what they thought. So um, overall, I thought this worked out really well, and thank okay. you very much for um, using this as your contest. <laughs> I really exactly. appreciate that. You're welcome. And as a thank you for everyone who entered, even if you did not win, you should have an email. If not, I haven't sent it out yet. I'll try to get it sent out before this contest goes up. But you should get an email from me. I have kind of auxiliary prizes for everyone, including the winner and everyone who did participate and enter in an entry. So <laughs> check your email for that. Awesome. Exactly. Um, specifically, I do know you have a couple other things you wanted to talk about regarding this ROM hack, Higsby. Um, um, well, one of the things that was brought up was, in your initial contest announcement video, you brought up that there were some anti-cheating measures, and it wasn't really anything too major. Um, the main thing that kind of ended up being destroyed, um, no one's fault, is that the dragon coins up at the top, the colors for each one are different, so you'll see. Um, in a minute when you get one, because there is one in this room. On um, the next one, I believe, is green, and then it was kind of uh, pinkish-red, and then it was green and red. Um, so that was kind of the stop anyone who thought, oh, I'll just get to the end of the level, and then I'll, like, Photoshop or just use MS Paint to put the dragon coin kind of symbols in there to make it look like I found all four. Um, so that, like, obviously, if you got an entry where all of the dragon coin symbols were yellow, there'd obviously be something kind of crazy going on there, but that kind of got destroyed when people started posting pictures and videos, and there's nothing wrong with that. I actually really like that people did that, but that just kind of ended up destroying that kind of anti-cheating measure. So as you, uh, as you can see at the top now, the second dragon coin is green. And I know there's something up here, but I need the springboard. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, but yes, that um, is definitely uh, one of the paths that you could take if you wanted to get the fastest time. Um, the other anti-cheating measure is just that the ROM is locked, and unless you unlocked it, which I believe you can. I've never actually unlocked the ROM before, but I think there's a thing out there that does let you do it. Um, yeah, I guess you really could have had a look at the level, although because the passages are all like hidden inside the walls, I can imagine it still wouldn't be super easy to kind of find out where all the secrets are. 
Um, you mean when you're looking at this level in Lunar Magic, you see all the real walls, and you have to t hover your mouse over the icon to see which is fake and which is not? Well, since I made the level, it's not really too much of an issue. I, co I of course, remember where I put everything, but um, I'm guessing, yeah, if someone else opened it, they'd probably be like, what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, it does because there's not really any indication inside the level editor where the secrets are. It's just kind of, I know uh, where I place different things. And sometimes it can get confusing, but overall, um, I think I made sure that everything worked out well. Um, but yeah, so those are really the only two things I did to prevent cheaters. I kind of made it sound like maybe there were more things, because if you think there's more, um, you might be a little less, like, you might, um, Inclined be a bit to try more. Yeah, exactly. So, you might kind of hold back. But I mean, everyone, I'm sure, um, had good intentions anyway, and no one tried, I'm sure and no one had any plans none of the entries looked fishy to me, so... <laughs> so yeah, I, I uh, that's pretty much the only two things I really added in there to kind of <laughs> see if people were cheating or not. And like I said, the Dragon Coin... Um, icons up there kind of got destroyed. I actually don't know how many people noticed that. People probably did. Oh, and yeah, you kind of noticed this. As you can see, there actually are outlines where there are exit doors. You can see one at the top left there. So if you came out through that door, instead of jumping up through the stairs, you could have kind of gone through the wall down there to kind of get to that pipe faster. So there are a lot of actually secret passageways in the round too. Um, that pipe, I'm guessing people probably had questions about that because it's not immediately obvious uh, how you get through that one. I wanted to show that off if I could figure out where the path to what I need is. <laughs> Because <laughs> oh. admittedly, it's a part of the level I have not um, explored. I've only seen video <laughs> in so far. Uh, let's see here. The next thing we wanted to go over is I uh, wanted to remind you uh, send your feedback to Higsby if you have not. Yep, um, mm -hmm. I have gotten a few emails. I'm really happy uh, to receive the feedback. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate everyone who took the time to write me a message. And of course, I want, once again want to thank everyone for participating because I do have auxiliary rewards. Check your email. <laughs> <laughs> Even I don't know what these are yet, so. And Jadaster64, you still have to tell me the ROM hack you want me to play. Knowing him, or no, not knowing him. I was thinking, you know, maybe <laughs> someone will win and then go, oh, sweet, I have until Mario gives up two ends to make a ROM. <laughs> you can do that if you want. That'd be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. Anyway, oh, gosh. I, I already know when I go to the left, that'll take me to another room and then the balloon door room, and I don't have the P-switch, so I can't get that. <laughs> actually, it's funny, because if you go back, uh, uh, that's one of the things about this level. You can actually work through the level backwards, too, after you get to the end and you unlock those doors, uh, like those gates. Actually, just uh, go to the left, uh, oh. like where... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right okay. here. I think someone actually took off here with flight and was able to fly up there. I might not be remembering that right. So that's actually a completely an, um, another way to do that that I never even thought of, because that block right there is supposed to be a vine where you can either use Magic Koopa to uh, destroy the question mark block there, or you can hit it hit the piece which get the coin and then the fine will go up just fine but it's interesting to see just the different ways that people figured out to do things like using booze to get up in places i never thought people would think to uh, spin jump on top of them to get to or like flying or doing a whole bunch of other things well my favorite thing is definitely that i think someone took the p switch in the first room and then after they had found the end of the level um and then, like, they unlock that gate. They use the pipe at the very beginning to bring that P-Switch to this room right here. And um, they kind of broke the level that way. Overall, there were a whole bunch of really interesting things that people did. And I really enjoy seeing just the different methods that people came up with. It was a lot of fun. I hope that everyone Exactly. Is there anywhere I could go other than to the left for the, the balloon room right now? or? Hmm. Um, if you go to the right just a little bit, actually, um, I will show... Um, just fall down to the right here. You can kind of see just the top of that platform there, so it's not really a blind jump. Um, yeah, you, if you had a piece which you could go down there. Um, yeah, you could go to the balloon room, or you could even work your way backwards, too. Although, there's not too much else to do in this room here, too. Uh, okay. uh or otherwise, so, yeah. This is gonna be Miles Luigi totally botches and <laughs> fails his contest entry, because <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, my time. I'm actually kind of interested in wondering how much time people... Um, put into the entries they, uh, they did submit because it's it's like one level but I guess that if you're really looking for the fastest time and all that, um, you can put have like quite a bit of time into it trying to figure all that out. So I wonder how long uh, just some people spent on just this one level. Um, originally the uh, dip wasn't here, but then I realized it was a really cheap and hard to avoid spot so I added it in just to be nice. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, so All you right. can go backwards now by breaking that, and then you can kind of go underneath the floor and break that breakable brick. So basically, ah. like I said, you can work your way backwards through the level, too. I kind of made sure that you could do that. 
Yeah, this is almost a Metroid level in a sense. I do know you messaged me this, but I kind of wanted you to elaborate on it a little bit more. This level does appear later in Super Mario Omega 2? Yes! Like, this, this isn't would... like in World 1 or World 2? <laughs> no, this would be World 7. <laughs> World 7? Okay, I, I didn't know if you had an exact answer or not, but you did. Oh, oh see, I know that some people, when they create ROM hacks, they kind of just create levels here and there for whatever they feel like, but I always create everything in order. That way I feel difficult. The difficulty, the difficulty curve is pretty good. And overall, it gives me something to look forward to, uh, too, because... Oh, does that guy glitch out, really? I think he does, yes. Let me actually wait around and see if he glitches out again. Yes, ah. he does. Just very <laughs> slightly. I never noticed during... that one frame. <laughs> it's one frame, glitches. too. So, I guess if that's the worst thing that went wrong, we're okay, and there's no, like, door that leads right to the end. Well, I guess that's kind of... There kind of is, but... <laughs> um, but... Yeah, what, where was I on my... Uh, World 7. Spot? Yes, World 7. Uh, there are a few things in this level, such as the red um, switches that reveal hidden walls. Like, that obviously would have been in introduced in an earlier world. So, although, I mean, it's kind of just easy to figure out where you hit red switch. Door, uh, the walls kind of disappear where you can go through them. So I guess that was kind of easy to figure out, even though that hadn't actually been introduced in the level where it would have otherwise been introduced. But, yeah, even though this uh, appeared quite later in the game, and hopefully people still had a lot of fun with it. It is pretty difficult, but save states were allowed. Um, so yeah, overall, hopefully it was more fun than annoying. <laughs> so, I yeah. hope so too for everyone. Um, now we really need to concentrate on this video because I want to show off all four <laughs> dragon coins. So uh, yeah, work, uh, go through this door, which will take you back to the room before, uh, okay. if you want to do that. So go to the right and jump. Oh, yeah, there's a fake wall somewhere well, here. Uh, so don't Actually, no, <laughs> invisible coin box. Yes. Right here. Yep, and then you can jump to the right. So, I mean, even without the block, you can tell which blocks you can go through since they are flipped. Um, I People Damn probably it. noticed that. Where uh, like, the brown blocks are flipped left and right, depending on which ones you can go through and which ones you can't. So yes, if you take this blue P-switch, um, you can actually kind of break part of the level, I believe. I was if going you... to go back to the pipe unless you told me where to yes. hit it. And wow, that is kind of glitching out. <laughs> I think I noticed that, but I'm like, no, no one's ever going to carry it over there. So I just kind of hoped it would slide. Because Big Boo creates a lot of issues in the level, so it's kind of a pain using him sometimes because you like, usually don't want anything else on the screen. But I really wanted him there, and, and if you can make this jump, which I believe you, is possible, although you might need just a little bit of a running start. And I'm going to wait for him to go down. Thank goodness I can actually run to the side of these spikes, by the way. I just noticed that right now. <laughs> yes. You can also even jump just on the edge of them, too, which is kind of a glitch in the block itself. There we go. So, yeah, so basically the point is you're supposed to be, like, have to have a P-switch here. And you're supposed to have to go do this whole crazy thing to the, uh, thing to the level, although I kind of realized that you can end up doing this. And if you, I, I guess, did that um, on the right side. <laughs> if you have a leaf... Which I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people probably... I wonder what people thought when they realized that. That it's not a feather, it's actually a leaf for the raccoon Mario in this game. Where now I think you can bring a boo and you can kind of jump up there by spinning around. Or you can even just fly up there again if you have the raccoon tail to kind of break everything. But yeah, this gives you the red switch. And if you take that through this pipe, you'll be like, Whoa, why the heck And I back at the beginning of the level? And then you hit the switch and you realize that all along there was a secret behind the beginning of the level. Yeah. <laughs> and that is kind of the main, one of the main things I was wondering is, will people notice that or will they run through the whole level and then kind of notice that at the end and be like, oh. <laughs> okay. We got coin, dragon coins to get now. Oh yes, yeah, so you'll probably just want to work through the level the way it was intended in order to get them then. Which means... Well, I just flat out missed them even though I know where they are. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, so... I'll point out kind of some of the interesting things that some people did. I mean, of course, one of the main things I, that people did at the same time was they spun jump up there um, instead of kind of going the long way around, uh, which was an interesting tactic. Although you're not going to want to go through there if you're going for the dragon. Points. Oh. You're going to have to take oh. the super long way. <laughs> Keep going right, you're saying. Yep. So kind of do that whole thing. I guess you could have used the spin jump to get to, up to that door, but we'll do it the real way. <laughs> so hitting this okay. P-switch will create a bridge to appear. Oh, kind, yeah. of, kind of a bridge. <laughs> Don't fall. 
So yeah, when I spawn jump on the boo, this is kind of, sort of, in a way, what you're supposed to do, but not spin jumping on the giant boo. Yeah, although that works too, which is just another way to say it's amazing just how many different ways there are to get to the level, many of which I never even really thought of until people did them, so I was happy that people did that. Um, this red switch is not going to be necessary at the moment, it just was kind of to show where the fake floors are here, so you can just get that if you want. Although you will want to take this blue P-switch, and there is a bit of slowdown here. There's a little bit of slowdown here and there, but overall oh, nothing that hurts spikes. anyone. Yeah, that's kind of the trap there. Although you're going to want to fall down here, although there is a mushroom in that block, if you want that. You're going to want to hit this, and you're going to want to go conti uh, continue to the right, down there, and go there through this go. wall. Oh, do not go in this door, you can actually continue to the right, and go into another door, um, and this is where you will want to go. So in here, if you here we go. This, this is the part I remember, remember, because you have to bring a springboard up with you up some fake walls. Yep. Although there is a red switch there, which will reveal where some fake walls are. Yeah, take that springboard to the right. Go up here. Yeah, <laughs> do a running jump. Some people might think, oh, I need the springboard to get up there, but no, it's possible. And then you can see there's a hole in the ceiling there, so you can use the springboard to go up through that. Charging chalk! <laughs> I realized that was really mean, but it, it worked well, so I kind of left it in. <laughs> there. There you go, Got up to it. the right. And now, instead of continuing to the right here, you're going to want to... Yeah, so go to the right a bit more. <laughs> Not far enough right. <laughs> you're going to want to go down to that little hole in the left, and there is a secret in the floor there, which will take you to another door. So that's kind of like a trick door right there that you don't want to go in. Can I just tell you that I'm not very good with the Disco Waffles? <laughs> I was very mean with them in this level, and I admit that. They actually kind of became one of my favorite enemies in Super Mario Omega 2, and then there's... Uh, I don't use them in, like, every level, of course. But Thank there's God. usually at least one level in every world where I kind of went crazy with them, and I apologize. <laughs> this would be that level in this world. Alright, save state now. There, we, All right, we made so it. And I go. think this is the Dragon Coin I couldn't for the life of me find. This so one? Yeah. Yes, it's this one. So you don't want to jump up through there. You did exactly oh, gosh, what I figured people would initially do. <laughs> so you want to continue to the left and hit this block, which will do that. Um, some people did bring a boo to this point, uh, like, and so instead of getting that vine, they brought a boo, and they would kind of use that to get up through that little hole, which is very hard because there's um, a disco ball there, um, <laughs> which will often get in your way, but yeah, this is actually the real way to do that, although again, it's interesting to see just how some people um, did things a bit differently. Yes, and this is the... Not really a vertical room, but just this introduction makes me think it's a vertical room, and I'm like, oh. I remember looking at this room like, <laughs> how the hell is anyone supposed to ever find that dragon coin? Because that was the one I missed. <laughs> so yeah, there's the third one. That leaves one more. It was kind of annoying having to take out one of the dragon coins, because I mean, I could have easily placed five, and they would have worked out really well, but <laughs> in the end, um, yeah. So uh, unless you, you could hack the HUDs where it shows all five. Can yeah, I, I went, actually, I'm not 100% sure. There might be something like that by now. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, so up here, here's uh, what the winner actually did figure out. So instead of continuing to the right here, I was wondering if anyone would notice this. This is actually part of the level. I did not just add this in because of the contest. Although it does definitely help you get some extra time. So instead of going to the right, go back. Oh, too far. And jump up to the left here. Up uh, into the left. Oh, <laughs> look at <laughs> so this, this secret. This, this cuts out a few seconds, so kudos. For noticing it is that definitely can give you a bit of an advantage this there. the block this here we go here's the block. the block this is another thing that was introduced in another level so if that level obviously you like you were playing super mario omega 2 it would probably give you a bit more of an idea of what this was for although it is good to see that some people did figure it out and as you'll see in just a second or at least the contest winner because this is like the big thing i remember watching that made me go whoa <laughs> you can use this block here to go into this pipe yes Exactly, it kind of gives you that just little bit of an extra height there, so you can go in there, and, <laughs> and yeah, this pretty much breaks, like, I mean, it doesn't break the level, this pretty much, like, breaks everything wide open and really gives you the fastest possible path to get to the end, because if you use this switch, and you go, and this is for power-ups, which is always good. Did like to just kill me? Okay, thank God. <laughs> and no, then, I did not, whoa. but I killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I just hit the switch here, because I know where I need to go. <laughs> Although you might wish that you had a bit more time here. Also, make a separate save state right here. Just for fun. So good, continue to the left. <laughs> Alright. 
Okay, now I think I know why you wanted me to make a separate save state. <laughs> Actually, no, I can go back. I cut rid of the coins. I have to do a loop now, though. <laughs> I'm too slow! <laughs> Although, there's still probably going to be a bit of an issue, and you will see that in one second. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, they're this exact same save state. Crap! I fucked it up! Damn it! Alright, okay, so there's there's one thing you can still do, and that is just pray that Magic Koopa will hit the question mark block before you hit it. Because it, it, uh, he won't get rid of the brown block, but he will get rid of a block that still has something in it. So we can just kind of <laughs> hope for like the next ten minutes that he shows up in a place where he Oh, he killed it. me. Whoops. <laughs> actually, now oh, I can Oh, this is perfect. Of... There, there you go. go. Awesome. And that is actually a trick um, that the winner used. Um, to get a good time. Another trick is also um, to use the raccoon suit, and you can and you can kind of. Well, again, you can kind of just fly up there, but you can also kind of get up there really quickly after you hit the vine and hit the block. But again, it was really cool to see just some different ways that people um, work through this level. And right here, if memory disco. serves me right, this will bring us to the last dragon coin. Yep. <laughs> here there we go. go. Instead of remember, where is that last? Damn last dragon coin actually located again. Hmm, actually. You were, it was supposed to be to the right, which is kind of bizarre. It was supposed to be right there. Did I get this one already? I may have gotten this one already. I don't think you did, did you? Or did it just <laughs> magically disappear? Because no, you did get the other three. Glitches! Hopefully this did not interfere with anyone's gameplay experience. Although, obviously, something couldn't have been too wrong if other people got the dragon coins. I don't know! <laughs> something went wrong. Did I hit one of your mysterious anti-cheating measures? <laughs> Let's go with that. Hopefully that didn't mess anyone up too bad. I actually have no idea why that dragon coin did not spawn, considering for everyone else it seems to have been okay. Um, so if you found that secret and there was no dragon coin there, um, Email me or something. I'll give you a consolation prize of something. <laughs> I have no idea. But yes, yeah, so this is the correct solution to the level. You get that red switch, you realize, oh look, there's a secret behind the beginning, and then wow, it just happens to be the end. And that is why this level is kind of a jerk, but at the same time, I just wanted to see what people thought of it. So yep, yeah, there you go. I got destroyed by everyone else. I have 641. Plus, I actually technically don't have all four dragon coins. <laughs> well, you should have. I actually have no idea why it didn't spawn, considering it... I could swear it was there another time. But... <laughs> Weird. And yeah. Is there anything else you want to show off? Oh, wow. This went 22 minutes. I didn't anticipate it going 22 <laughs> minutes. Well, to the right, of course. You don't have to enter the level, but you do unlock what is the first level of Super Mario Omega 2 if it ever gets completed. And yeah, I mean, there's definitely nothing else strange about this overworld. Definitely not the fact that there's like a sparkling tree over there, or the fact that there's a palm tree over there. And what did you just do? You're breaking everything. <laughs> Where am I going? Red Yoshi area? Just a little extra thing I kind of threw in there. In desert land, why not? <laughs> now, fun fact, you cannot take a Yoshi to the House of Madness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone showed that. It was actually quite... Funny. That'll be the very last thing we show off this part after we run or circle around. Is that there isn't a no yo yo no no yo Yoshi entrance <laughs> here, but uh, you know, there's a big Yoshi wall. Plus, I want to show this off, too, because this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get! <laughs> but, yeah, so overall... I actually have to admit that there is still quite a bit more depth that we have not shown. Um, also, I don't know if anyone read the README, but there definitely was not a secret message hidden in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. These are mysteries you have to solve, everyone. I will not solve them for you. <laughs> anyway, this is Miles Luigi. And Higsby. See you all next time. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't forget about that extra save state you made, although maybe we won't go into too much depth about that. <laughs> I'll let everyone else figure this one out.